right, let's do the thing. What's up, everyone? AJ Rights Crypto here. We are still in the bare bone stage of, you know, my new setup here. As you see, there's nothing on the wall. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking uh, like corner, corner shelf, ladder shelf, ladder, corner ladder shelf. We need the spinning coin back. I, I missed the spinning coin. It it gave me, I, don't, I just miss it. Shout out to everybody in the chat. We have my good friend, Chauncey Peppertooth, my best friend in the entire world. My favorite person in the chat, Chauncey, Chauncey Peppertooth. We have Ricky Burris, Jeff Brigdon, Kenan Henson, the Davenport Report, Brian Bootyhead, Eric, JC, Karen Harris. How is everybody doing today? Eddie C, thank you all for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Today's a big day. Today is a big day. So uh, a lot on the agenda today. First of all, we do have the BitBoy Crypto. That's right. I said it. I, I said it. There, I said it. The BitBoy Crypto live stream at noon today. I will be on the BitBoy Crypto live stream, second half of the show. Uh, I will be on that show uh, all the time. Moving forward, we're doing more segments like the ESPN of crypto type thing. Very excited for that. And then at 2 o'clock today, I have a roundtable with Mario Nafal. Excited to do that as well. So really back to back to back to back kind of day. All good. And I have a call after that as well. But I will have time to get some videos in. Might be here a little bit late. I already got a $5 super chat in from my guy Crypto Alex, uh, which is a portfolio. It is Thursday. We will be doing some portfolio ratings today. Let me screenshot that bad boy. And I will save those for the end of the show. I do have a hard cut today at 1130 since I need to prep for Ben's show, but I will save the portfolios as they come in and give myself the time that I need. Awesome. So a um, couple things I want to go over today before. Uh, uh, are, are you okay? Yes. What? what uh, oh, you're, you're just knocking me over in my own show. Good morning. <laughs> So is is, is it, who is with me today? Is it the Glitter Queen or is it Crypto Barbie? I really don't know. You really don't. Know. <laughs> we're, we're really undecided. We are pretty torn on this, everybody. We are torn on. We are torn. I couldn't figure out how to get my seat up. That's why I was like. Oh, it's that little button, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, it's more complicated. Okay. Than that, than so here's the thing: well, Crypto Barbie is a great name, but you can't trademark the word Barbie. You can trademark the Glitter Queen. Uh, and, and you think that that makes the most sense in my opinion, but we will see. We will see. She's stealing. LOL. She's stealing. Uh, is there a tripod in the way? Probably. Probably. Um, what time is Ben? No, I can't. What time is Ben show? It starts at noon. It starts at noon. All right. Glitter writes crypto Barbie queen. <laughs> I like that. All right, so we got to get into the meat and potatoes of the show. <clears throat> couple, couple things on the list here: the get rich or get wrecked drop, the third drop, the first T-shirt of them all. You can still get in on this giveaway if you want to. The we are just about at 100 sold on crypto chips. Uh, so even if it goes whatever, whatever you still you can buy it today. After today, it's done. We're pulling it down. And there you go. So if you want to get it, join the Grogger Nation. Join um, the Get Rich or Get Rich or Get Wrecked Army. There you go. The link is right there in the tweet. I copy and pasted it into the chat. Or if you want to win one for free, like and retweet this tweet right here, and you will get yourself an awesome Get Rich or Get Wrecked shirt. A couple of things. Potentially. Potentially. A couple of things I want to go over. Big shout out to the Mad V Apes over on V Chain. Super cool community there. I mean, it's probably the largest uh, NFT in the V chain community. Uh, super cool drop. Like you know, they have a lot of really good art. Uh, like the floor is around twenty five hundred V chain, which is about one hundred and twenty five dollars. But but that that's just the floor. It goes up pretty significantly in price as you get into good rarity. Uh, I joined the Mad V Apes community uh, over the weekend at the UFC fight. Be they do a lot of giveaways, and I was told that if I bought. I'm at VA. I would be entered to, for a giveaway to win a pair of um, Gilbert Gilbert Burns, one of my favorite, probably my favorite uh, MMA fighter. I did I did lose that bet. I did lose that nice. bet, but it's okay. But I, I was told that if I entered the community, I would have a chance to win his shorts, a signed pair of his shorts. And you know, I thought to myself, well, I could frame those and put those in my office. That's awesome. He's my favorite fighter, and I won the inter I won the the, the giveaway somehow, some way. Uh, very, somehow. very. 
very excited about the about winning that interview. But the thing is, is that they're already giving away another set of Gilbert Burn shorts right here. Right here. All you have to do is be is become a holder and join the Discord and you are entered to win. So, you know, if you want to join the V Chain NFT crew, there you go. Win yourself the same and a similar pair of shorts to the ones I want. It's a pretty, pretty mean mugging looking monkey. Yeah, it's a pretty mean mugging looking monkey. Also, I put out another cryptic type tweet yesterday. I you all like my cryptic tweets. I'm always trying to say something in cryptic tweets. This one was a little bit more straightforward. I said, today, someone asked me if I'm still going to DCA. When Algo gets to 50 cents, of course, I'll still be DCAing in two weeks. That that, that 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 was a good joke. That was a good joke. Did the post did pretty good. You know, 200 likes, not bad. But, you know, there was a reason I said this. I wasn't just like picking a date. I, I wanted to say Fortnite, but that that uh, that was, you know, a Fortnite doesn't mean two weeks anymore. It means fun video game. And the reason I said this is because Python is coming to Algorand in 14 days. Thanks to Algo Kit 2.0. That is such a big deal. Such, such a big deal. I cannot Holy stress how massive it is that Python on Algorand in 14 days. Hence my little joke about, like you know. About the same Python, right? Like yeah. The coding. The coding language. The most popular coding language <laughs> ever, Python. Yes, that one. That's amazing. That is amazing. And uh, this is big. Oh, I didn't even like this tweet there. So there you go. That, that explains my cryptic ass tweet about. Uh, of course, I'll still be DCAing in two weeks when Algorand's 50 cents because, you know, it's going to open the floodgates for Algorand. Uh, high expectations with this, you know, integration here moving forward. All right. Great time to accumulate. Great time to accumulate. <laughs> that is totally facts. No, um, oh, Alex Crypto comes back with his... With his 10x goal. With his 10x you. goal Thank noted. For throwing that in. What do you think of Axlar? I, that is... Huh, I, that was... Was that... I'll write it down. No, no, no. I think that that was actually a project I was looking at not long ago actually let me um because i i am in a couple of telegram you know alpha groups and i do see a lot a lot of things come across yep this is the one someone made a good point if you make crypto barbie one word you could trademark it mm, i'm curious maybe just anyways, maybe anyway anyways. so yep this is the project that i was told about it's right outside the top 100 that's why i remember it uh you know let's check out the supply so no max supply Right around 600 million in it's circulation. common to not have a max supply? Yeah, a lot of coins okay. don't have max supplies. I'm like, that sounds a little scary. They, there's no, well, actually very interesting. I interviewed yesterday a friend of mine, Tommy World Power, is the founder of a project called Energy, the ticker NRG. A lot of you might remember it if you were in crypto back in like 2018, 2017, 2019 times. Um and at the time, you know, that project was a top 50 project. It has, you know, fallen from grace, but I, he's still pushing the project. He's a friend of mine. So, you know, I, I still did the interview just to, because of what he's trying to do, uh, you know, prioritizing security over everything. Like, you know, basically if you lost, you know, you got hacked for your NRG, they would be able to stop it from, from it getting stolen from you. And, you know, no crypto can do that like to the definitely watch that interview when it comes out probably on saturday but but my point here is oh, i actually wanted to go back to to this project here I, I don't really have any you know immediate feelings about axlar a x l is the ticker it is just outside the top 100 you know market cap of just over 1.2 billion but i do feel that you know it has had a little correction in the past little while uh maybe i'll actually take a proper look at it but even you know september actually excuse me march 3rd we were looking at 257 right now at 204. So definitely it's kind of scalloped over on the little basic chart here since uh, it's a little push up. But, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe not a bad time to accumulate. I, I think that, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's still so it's a programmable blockchain interoperability layer that spans all of Web3. OK, so kind of like, you know, the interoperability multi-chain, that is definitely that I'll definitely have to learn more about this but not here the second on the show. But uh, this is one that hit my radar, and it was in my uh, alpha group not too long ago. All right, so a little overview on that bad boy. All right, so Tristan Gage. Well, now I'm glad I went all in on HBAR and Algo now. Algo has almost doubled for me already, waiting on HBAR. Shout out to Sean for winning. Awesome. Yeah, amazing. I mean, we. it's crazy looking at, you know, my average buys on the graph, on Algorand, on HBAR, 
crazy. Like if you were watching this show, if the, like when this really started, like, you know, late October, and if you followed me through last year before this channel even started, I'm, we're doing very well, uh, especially on, on the mad on the on the like the major picks of the show. But there are still, you know, so many other projects coming out right now. And the meme coin madness, you know, I do want to kind of circulate circle into that a little bit in the show. I mean, you got to be looking for some meme exposure right now. Uh, Dog Whiff just completely ripped last night. I do have a little bag of Dog Whiff with wish I bought more of it. But, you know, it is kind of one of those things that is like, oh, my God, like how much am I really going to put into this? Like, do I want to sell? Uh, I'm not going to sell the graph. You know, I'm not going to sell like my. And then that, you know, that is actually a lesson. Like, don't fall in love with your bags. Don't we fall in love with your. We technically should have sold the graph. We should have sold the graph and bought dog with all of it. We were just all having this conversation. It. I think it was yesterday. And I was like, AJ, like, I think we need to ape into a meme coin. Like, what do we do? But all the meme coins that we like have kind of already done it. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're going to be patient. I mean, there's always another meme coin, right? So there's always another meme coin. And we will get into looking for meme coins and a little bit of that process. I do want to. Um, Giovanni Kurtzel, he will there be a V chain <laughs> price prediction video? Yes, there, there certainly will be. Um, not this week, uh, I, I believe, hopefully, probably Monday, there will be a Ethereum price prediction video coming your way, and then I'm going to do chain link and then I will go from there. Um, Kenan Henson, five dollar super chat. Hey, Jay, what makes a meme coin great? What gives it? utility and value and etc. This sorry. So this is a really really good question, good question. for Ken and Hinton. So not even. So not every meme coin is actually going to have utility. I mean I mean I mean you look at like Shiba for instance. Shiba didn't have utility and then and then you know it was probably the most pumped coin of all of the 2021 bull run and then with you know that money they built out Shibarium. You know, so it didn't start with utility. Also if you consider Pepe you know, Pepe doesn't have utility. Doge doesn't have utility. Like, you know, like, like there are meme coins that do have utility. And then they ev ev eventually evolve into projects that are not meme coins. Okay. But so what gives a meme coin value? And my opinion is 100% my favorite four letter word. H-Y-P-E. Hype. That's true. Hype. That 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 is the bread and butter. Why did Dogecoin do so good? Because well, Elon, Elon Musk, Musk tweeted I, about it. Exactly, like, and he's still talking about it. We're, still, yeah, yeah, right. Well, I'm Doge is on my shit list, so. It's oh fine. yeah, you're still you're still burnt. I'm still salty. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, you're still you're still I, burnt. I out into Doge. We don't need to talk about but, it. But this you're talking about year. it. I was scared. All right, so let's keep going. So, <laughs> but you know what makes a meme queen great? So seriously, what you're gonna want to look for? All right, a couple of things. I was going to save this for later in the show, but it makes a lot of sense to talk about it now. All right, couple, couple things. So, you know, we all know Dex tools. Lately, I've been kind of cycled away from Dex tools. I've been using BirdEye. BirdEye, uh, Goody told me about this one a couple of months back. And over the weekend, talked to a couple other people who have been using it as well. And you know, for the past couple of weeks, I have had my eye on this. Yeah, this is oh, the okay. one Atia was talking about. <laughs> all my little so, things just right. So, on. right here, look at the top. You can click all chains, all chains, and you can see the trending tokens. I mean, look at this. Do you think it divides it up though between like Solana it, and Ethereum and everything it, else? So, if you want to be loyal to a more limit. solid coin, well, not not even that is that you have to. So, what she's saying is that at the top it shows all the chains up here at the top, and what you have to do is obviously you have to find the trends, and the trend is your friend. And lately, Solana has been running the show. So instead of going to all chains, we're going to click Solana. And actually, it's funny when you look at the trending tokens. Here's trending tokens on all chains. Mm -hmm. Here's trending tokens on Solana. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. Do so really, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to also, I like how it has profitable yeah. traders, has highest 24-hour volumes, so like find gems down here top gainers you can click this right here so we got nick up uh, you know eight thousand percent there also you can see the trades right here you can see the trades coming in Dude, <laughs> just like any other great website. yeah this is amazing this is amazing so let's take a look at uh i don't know uh boom b-o-m-e not bone boom with an m of course it's gonna not load here we go not not loading let's play a game called not load 
Uh, I think I think the internet. Oh, <gasps> make oh, sure I'm human. I, I promise I'm real. I promise I'm real. Okay. Boom. So here we go. Let's take a look. And this is not a boom shill. I have no idea what this coin is. I just clicked it because I like the name. So as you can see, this is a relatively brand new project. A lot of these times when these brand new project comes out, you know who are the people doing this? The people on the inside that knew it was coming. All right. That, that is an element you are going to have to deal with if you're on the outside looking at these things. All right. I like a lot of people. It's normally the same group of people that are kind of revolving around, you know, putting out these meme coins, pumping them up, pumping them up, getting people to to jump in and then selling their bags. And this is the thing that I want to talk to you guys about. This is very big. If you are seeing anyone, any influencer talking about whatever meme coin it is, guess what? They already bought it. They already bought it. You are their exit liquidity. You. You. All right. So what I want you to keep in mind is I wouldn't really lean into Twitter necessarily. You could to find this stuff. Once there are coins established like Dog Whiff or Bonk or something like that. If there's TA on a project like that, fine. Fine. I understand that. But when we're talking boom. OK, when we're talking, whatever brand new project is up a thousand percent, look at Stash up 30,000 percent. It's up 30,000 percent. So anybody who was talking about this coin, uh, you know, all the way back here. You know, who's up 1700 percent of past 16 hours, you know, and, and, and listen, there is a fine line between when, you know, influencers talk about projects that they have. All right, I'm not. I don't want to sound, you know, hypocritical here. All right, Snack, Snack is Cardano. Okay, but I don't want to sound hypocritical here. But it is no, because this is. I'm like. I have to go to the actual chart. So, I don't want to sound hypocritical, but I do want to say that it there's a difference between talking about a project that's in the top 100 and talking about a project that's been out for 24 hours. All right, that that does that is let's di completely differentiate that. But I also do want to say that when you're coming talking about bird eye, you want to, you know, obviously keep an eye on all the trending tokens. You want to keep an eye on recent trades right down here. You can actually see all the buy orders coming. It's very similar to Dex tools. I, I'm explaining it like this because you know, maybe not all of you know what Dex tools is. Okay. But you know, you can totally see the buys coming in and you can kind of use that to toggle. Like, okay, so in the past, you know, a couple hours, this thing is pumped, you know, 130% in the past couple hours. Could it keep going? It very well could keep going. But you also could maybe hope for a little retest or you could just keep an eye on the order book here. You know, play some quick trades, get in, get out type of thing. Now, personally, this isn't a one I would target. You also want to keep in mind, look at this. It shows you the rich list right here. Top 10 holders own 35% of this project. The TVL is only, you know, 500, 500,000, not 500 million, 500,000. All right. So you do want to keep an eye on stuff like this when you're looking at these meme coins. And I, I promise you that if you spend time on this website, if you really like do your homework and look into, you know, the, the up and coming projects, they will all hit the radar here and you can make a lot of money you know, looking at everything. Really fun website to like just even just to look around, even if you're not like choosing to invest, like just it's a nice way to keep track of meme coins. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, this is, this is a great way to do it. I think, you know, um, I think it would be interesting to do kind of like maybe a video that's like, um, like an all hands on deck rundown of like how to buy gems, like how, you know what I mean? Like a more detailed video on you know what I do. Cause you know, I, I buy meme coins now and then. Like I, I I'm not a complete memer, but I, I have you know bought meme coins, made a couple thousand dollars and yeah, got out. You know, people need to know how to do it that. It would be a fun collaboration. Like, yeah. Like because we have quite a few friends who are like deep in the meme coins, love all that stuff. And yeah. I feel like that could be a fun uh Fun little one off. So yeah, I, I completely agree. I, we'll yeah. play around with that. And when I do that, I'm, I'm not going to talk about any specific project. It's going to be more of a strategy video. Yeah. And I think that's important. For sure. Um, we, we don't want to be talking about some weird meme coin and then it gets y'all wrecked. Exactly. So that is that's not why we don't really 
play in that field anyways. And if I, so I, I have talked about, you know, a, a handful of smaller projects before. And anytime I talk about a smaller project, it's because I believe in the project. If you look at PAL, I started talking about PAL when it was outside the top 800. Yeah. I started talking about PAL when it was like 10 cents. You know what I mean? So like there, there, I will there time and time again, I will take the risk. And if I like the project, if I think it, it makes sense to me, I'll talk about it. If it doesn't make sense to me, if it's just a shill, it's not going to happen. I also think there's a difference between a small project and a meme coin. Well, like, pal could have been like, considered a meme coin I when suppose, it started. But like when you're looking at the climate of like why people chase meme coins mm. and like that whole deal, I yeah, it's just it's a little different in my opinion. Yeah. Um. Someone shoot. Where did it go? Well, you know, I do want to say that. Did you see the super chat? Uh, which one? What's up? That one. Uh, um, I, I don't know what that one is. If I, if I don't know what a coin is, well, they said a new and fun coin based chain, easy to use, and Brett is being talked about a lot on X. Yeah. All right. So, like in this case, where Golden Bill E says, "Is this coin any good?" If I here, I have a new rule. I have a new rule. If I don't know what something is, okay, and someone asks me to look at a specific project, what I do. While you guys cannot see my screen, I will search that coin, um, you know, on CoinGecko or BirdEye or whatever. And I will see that, you know, this coin only has, uh, I don't know, a $7 million market cap. This, I'm not going to talk about it on the on the show because what I've had happen to me in the past oh, right. is I, I've yeah. had had people say, oh, have you checked out this coin? And AJ and TA mode went, oh, let's look at it. And I'll look at this chart that's complete crap with a coin that's not even $2 million. And then that person would have, would have been the founder of that project. They clip me talking about this coin and put it on the internet and use me for a promo when I was just kindly looking up a coin. So if you ask me, even in a super chat, hey, is this coin good? And I look at it in the back end and it's not a, a relevant project. If it's like not inside the top 200 or like 300, it has to be something. You know what I mean? I'm not completely honest. Yeah. I just saw Coinbase and I thought they were referring to an exchange. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we can talk yeah. about FEMA. <laughs> yeah. Tony Denning, you're 100% right. Like I said, if everybody doesn't know, this is the brand new studio here. We I just moved all my stuff in here the other day. Uh, you know, Jada isn't on the show with me as much. She does a lot of portfolio stuff with me, but she still wants to show her face on the live stream every now and then. But everything right now, I will admit this is amateur hour for a live stream. We don't have any background. Um, we I don't even we're have gonna, my own we're desk work yet. On it this weekend. Yes. I will get better at projecting my voice a little bit. And we're gonna get you a net we're gonna get you <laughs> and another mic. We're just gonna have me my own mic. Yeah. Okay. We're actually gonna have you your own camera. Yeah. You're we're, gonna be we're, we're not and gonna you're gonna be my this. my uh my my young Jamie. Young Jamie, can you can you research? Can you look this up for me, Jamie? All right, hey, I want to keep it going. It's already eleven o'clock. I, I want to give these people alpha. I have a lot I want to talk about. Quickly. Shout out to V Chain. Oh, shout out to V Chain. Love you guys. Love it. Love it. Love it. UFC three hundred. Boom. So excited. All right. So, and Giovanni, um, are you guys in? Said nice V Chain hoodie. Are you guys in Tennessee now? We're still in Georgia. We're staying in Georgia. We're not moving to Nashville. We just moved locations. We got some noise complaints. We were in a, a shared yeah. uh, office space, and y'all know how Ben is. He oh gets yeah, it's a little passionate. So uh, a little, just a little, just bit. a little. Just a little. <laughs> okay, I do want to say really fast. Lately, I I've been super excited about not just Femex, but Femex Pulse. Femex Pulse is absolutely amazing. What I'm going to do, so, you know, right now, I still don't have my own Telegram group. I still don't have my own Telegram group. And my own Telegram group is coming. But for right here, right now, my alpha chat is on Femex Pulse. Okay, so what you do, you go here, you know, and you can see all these people's groups. Okay, and you can actually, you can actually earn PT tokens every day by, you know, contributing to the groups, trading on Femex. And, you know, PT is a big pick. I'll go over the PT chart here in a little while. I think the Femex token is going to be amazing. But here you can go right here. Here's my group. It has 170 members. It just started like literally a day or two ago. Uh, very proud of that. Going to enter the group here. And so we have the 14th largest group on here. So if you go here to PT Rewards, you know, you can convert 
every day you you do a thing you, you contribute you trade and then you convert to pt tokens okay so you can engage and earn and i think pt in terms of exchange coins is going to be an absolute sleeper here moving forward also when you enter the group you know it's an open chat if you have any questions you want to ask me if you want to just talk about your trades you know things like this you know i've been posting a lot of you know, a lot of charts in here. We've been talking about a phantom short. There's another chart down there I'm not going to talk about. There's another couple charts up here I'm not going to talk about. If you want to see these charts, if you want to get in on these trades, I've been posting my setups right here on Femex Pulse. Okay. I will share the link for you guys. I'll copy I and I wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Copy and paste the link right here for Femex Pulse so you guys can get in on the group. Make sure you join and sign up for Femex link down below. So what I'm doing. What I'm doing is right now I'm posting everything on Femex Pulse. In about a week, I am going to launch my own Telegram. Okay. I am still going to contribute on Femex in a big way. Okay. I'm still going to be in there to chat. I will still post setups daily. But if you want the alpha, 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 if you want to actually know every trade I do and every trade I'm looking at and every chart I dissect, you have to join the Telegram. Right now, the, the Femex Pulse is getting the Telegram treatment. Once I have Telegram, I will still be on Femex, but the Telegram will be the bee's knees. It will only be $35 a month for the Telegram. But what we're doing, we are doing it in six months or one year packages. Obviously, there will be discounts for, you know, what, for which ones you want to do. And if you buy a one year package, you will also get a free, um, like exclusive hoodie for get rich or get wrecked because I, I only want, you know, only the people that buy for a year. If you want this one hoodie, no one else can buy it. The only way you can buy that hoodie is if you join the telegram for a year. Like the exclusive drops. Read yeah. the chat really quickly. So Blake by asked thoughts on why they remove PT points if you don't convert them. And then Karis said she's Karis. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Karen Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, she said that she still has no clue on how to. Convert okay. So, uh, okay. So, Lately, I, I have messaged my guy at Femex about this. And right now, it's because so many people are rushing onto it. I think the system is a little shaken. Like I said, this is, Femex Pulse is a brand new thing, like as an alternative to Telegram or whatever. And I, I think that it hit them a little harder than they thought, and they are getting it worked out. So I, you know, I want you guys to know that if you can't claim or anything right now, that is getting worked out. And it just started. It just started. You know what I mean? And you can, and just because, you know, it sucks that if you can't claim something for a day or two, that's fine. But at least you can still have access to all these groups and all these chats. And really, the access is more important than, you know, a couple dollars in Femex tokens. And that part will get worked out just right now. I think they, uh, the, it hit them a little harder than they thought it was going we'll, to. We'll be a little patient. I'll yeah, overall, that's not up to, you know, that's just, that just happens. This is just the, the time of being patient. Yep. All, all, all you guys are like freaking out something pumped a little bit you're like oh my god do i need to convert everything into this this isn't working i've yep. held this for way too long yep. we're chilling we're chilling so hard you're hilarious all right uh two dollar super chat brumfield please bring back big pay for cardano that is happening i talk to big pay all the time a very good friend of mine he will be back on the show sometime soon um, 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 um. Yeah, so 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 what he's saying is the 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 pulse rewards are a scam. Haven't been able to convert my reward. The rewards disappear very quickly. So the rewards do disappear every twelve hours, and I think I think that's for a good reason, to be honest with you. And it's also so people can game the system. And I also think that once they iron out, obviously they wouldn't have set this up the way they set it up if they didn't want this part of it to work. They're not trying to scam people. It's it just launched. It's a brand new product that they're experimenting with. And I think the access is more important than a couple PT tokens that you will get once they work out, iron out the king. So don't get alarmed. The access is more important than a couple of dollars in rewards. And that part is going to get worked out as well. So just want you guys to know that. Um, um, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying this. You'll just saw Brett on base chain and hit a four hundred million dollar market tap in Canada. Yeah, that's all good. Golden Bill. That's uh, that's all good. I, I'm not talking specifically you. I'm just super weary about very very small call out charts. AJ's been burned a little. I've bit. been burned a little <laughs> bit. Uh, thoughts on SUI? Totally, we can go into SUI. Um, no problem. I, was there another portfolio that I missed? 
No, he just um he commented his goal. Oh, it was ten X. All right. Yeah. yeah. I will we'll get so that. yeah, we'll remember that. All right, perfect. So a couple things. Um wanted to talk a couple quick stories. I'll get into some charts. I'm just gonna burn through the stories really quick. Ethereum L2's median transaction fees decline as much as 99% post the den can upgrade. Amazing. This is exactly what people want to see. I think the, the next uh, era of Ethereum is certainly alive and well. And there's also, you know, nine more EIPs that have been introduced as well. Uh, certainly, I'm not going to go too far down into this, but it is really good to see uh, Ethereum make a big, significant push post-merge with, you know, their scalability focus updates. So this, this is really amazing, especially if you're in the Ethereum ecosystem. Also, uh, man, we were just talking about this. So Elon Musk talking about Dogecoin. The, you know, who let the Doge out? The answer is Elon Musk. Uh, so he actually said, he hinted that we know at some point, I think we should enable that. You can buy Tesla merch with Doge, which is cool. Is that ignorant of me that like I didn't know Tesla did merch? Well, Tesla does very little marketing. Right. Very little marketing. Can we peep their merch? Uh, not right now. Uh -huh. But, you know, I, I do like I the fact that, you know, Elon's still leaning into the Doge thing. I think, you know, he's it is time for him to talk about Doge again. Uh, right here, right now, without a Does shadow of a doubt. Uh, we no, we don't buy Doge. We don't buy Doge. What we should buy is dog with hat. Oh my God, Tesla has like sweatsuits. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get off that topic. No, so no, Raul Paul no, does no. have less than two percent of his portfolio is in dog with. That is absolutely amazing. I love to hear that, and I will show you guys the chart for dog with. Okay, here it is. So. It's absolutely insane because if you would have bought this, uh, you know, yesterday at, let's say yesterday at noon, you would be up, oh, I don't know, 33% already if you bought it yesterday at noon. It up went up 40%. This is the 12-minute chart we're looking at right here. This thing is absolutely just ripped. I mean, even if you got in, you know, Thursday, a week ago, 87% in a week. Not bad for Dog Whip. I think Dog Whip, you know, I think it's well inside the top one. I actually want to see where exactly is Dog Whip inside the top 100. There's another portfolio? Yeah, I pulled it. Down. Okay, thank you. Um, let me go here. One second. It. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Dog Whip, look at this. It's 45th by market cap, up 35%, 45, 43% in the past 24 hours. It's It's in the top 50. And look at the top gainers today. Dog Whiff, Bonk, Pepe, Jupiter, Dogecoin. Phantom woke up a little bit, but it also dipped a little bit. Um, I think Phantom actually is actually going to fall to like maybe 82, 83. Floki. But my point here is that a lot of the top gainers today are, are meme coins. At, at least the top three in the top 100. So keep a close eye on the meme coins. I think because they pumped up this hard, this is my point here. This is my point. And I will circle back on this in the Femex Pulse group with levels, exact levels. But three, the top three gainers in the top 100 today are all meme coins. Dog Whiff, Bunk, and Pepe. Meme coins have heavy, heavy liquidity in exchanges. Okay? So when these coins start to come down, you can get in on some quick scalp leverage trades and make a lot of money. These charts are pretty predictable. You can run tight stop losses. You can use risk management. You don't have to risk your life. But I'm saying that, you know, when I see pump charts pump like this, I will have levels picked, alarms set, and I will be looking for either trend is your friend continuation, if the chart's showing continuation, or if there are signs of reversal, I am 100% going to take some big shorts out. Okay, so dog whiff, Pepe, and bunk. Those are the those are the charts I'm gonna have my eyes peeled on. Definitely stay look forward to some posts about these charts in the Femex Pulse group coming up here in a little while. Yeah, it's been around for a little while, and it's 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 thirty third by market cap, where Dog Whiff is forty fifth. <laughs> of course you do. I just like the frog. All right, so um, Moto Bull five five eight AJ, can you check out Goldfinch? You still didn't check out the other. Yeah, I, I don't know if that. It, it, I don't know if Goldfit GFI. I'm gonna look yeah, at it on the back that. end to see if it's a it's a project that I'm even gonna look at. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look at SUI. Yeah, Goldfinch. Uh, uh, 
I'm going to say no to Goldfinch today, Moto Bull. Maybe if you come back tomorrow, I'll when I do more uh, of a TA show, I, I'll look into that. It is inside the top 500, uh, but I don't have time for that one today. But maybe tomorrow. Uh, yeah, right. It, it's GFI. Also, here's another portfolio right here. I'll screenshot this. Bad boy. I just got to keep the show rolling because I do got to help Ben set up for the Big Boy Crypto live stream. Hey, so we, we still got a solid 20. I know we got 21 minutes. 21 minutes. All right, I'm just screenshotting that. All right, so now, good morning to Marissa. Good morning. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I want to, I do want to take a, a quick look at a couple charts here. Uh, so I already showed you the WIF chart. Let me pull this back here so I can see the chat. Okay, bang bang, absolutely insane. Uh, another chart I want to show you here. Uh, let me start with the two hour. Is the graph? Okay, the graph. One of the Glitter Queen Crypto Barbie's favorite projects. I, I did put this in the Femex Pulse group yesterday. I want you to see that, you know, it is in a triangle, you know, kind of basic triangle setup, okay? And I also do want you to notice that if you look at this and you look at this, okay, you see it right there on Market Cipher B, down, up, so bearish divergence on a two-hour. You know, that was kind of your giveaway when the graph pumped up to uh you know 50 cents to to maybe take a little bit of profits right and sell right there we're down 14 percent from the local high right around you know 49 50 cents what i do want to say is that in these situations in these triangles what we do we draw this line we set an alarm on this line we draw this line we set an alarm on this line so if we break out we know to go long so if we break down we know to go short okay this is very very common practice if you're really trying you know, keep your ducks in a row and, not, and knock out these solid trades. What I will say is that right now, the graph is you know, kind of sending some mixed messages. Right? So right now, it did come down and lose this line. And sometimes your alarm will go off, but that doesn't mean you necessarily go short right away. You have to you know, do a little, have, be a little patient, watch a little bit. And you could have shorted the second the alarm went off and still made 2.5% on a quick short. Because, you know, um, and when I talk about trades like this, I'm talking about scalping, everybody. I'm talking about scalping. I'm not talking about intraday trading. Uh, you know, hour, you know, days and days, hours, hours and hours. I'm talking about you know, thirty minute trades. That's how. That's my style. Um, also, I do want to show you that even on let's, let's zoom into like a five minute chart, the graph is trying to pop up. It is kind of broken back in above this support resistance line. That support resistance line is at exactly forty two two four two two five what i would do I, I would probably set an alarm like a little bit below that you know maybe like i'm not going to set an alarm because i don't want to go off during the show but i would probably set an alarm like at 4205 4206 and like right here because that would be like that would kind of trigger below the support resistance and if it loses this level i'm probably looking to go short also you know we talked a lot about last week about emas okay and in bearish continuation, what you'll see is you see this red line. This is the 50-day EMA. The price will stay below the EMA. Okay, see how the price has done a pretty good job staying below the EMA. It will pop above, and when it pop above, it tests the 200, gets rejected down. When you see this, this is a surefire sign of bearish continuation. All right, so my point here is right now, even on the five-minute chart, it is trying to test, trying to test the EMA. So keep a close eye on the graph. I feel like, you know, it doesn't look really bad on very, very small time frames. But when you actually zoom out and look at the big picture, like the two hour, it is a little scary. But you also want to notice on the two hour that it's pretty far in the momentum, momentum, momentum oscillator right there. And what I don't like is that, you know, I actually talked about this before. You see how far away the graph was from the EMA when it hit that top there. So anytime this happens, you have to expect you know the em the, the the chart to touch the ema what we really want to see on the two hour is the graph to pop and not the graph to come and test to 200 and i feel like since the oscillator is down as far as it is that it might go a little bit under the 50 but i don't think it's going to completely test the 200 worst case scenario worst case scenario for the graph is that we lose this level right here okay and i want to show you why so there's this there's this touch right there and then the two times we wicked down Look at where we popped two different times. The first initial test, couple tests, and then two wicks. And that level is at exactly 40, 
0.4079. So almost 41 cents. That is the oh shit level. That is the, if we lose that level, we sell our bags level. Okay. Um, because, you know, the graph moved fast. All right. I'll, I'll prove it to you. I will show you the volume profile. There's the volume profile. And look, just as I expected. Because see how fast the graph moved? See that quick movement here? This is some real alpha, everybody. When things move like this, there's always a gap in the volume. You see that gap? That's called a low volume node right there. Okay, all the way off to the right, looking at this thing. That's the volume profile. Right here, you know, there is a lot of, there's a lot of volume here. There's a little tick right at 40 cents. But then after 40 cents, we low volume to here. Okay, and this this level right here is where the most amount of volume is. That level is called the point of control. The point of control. Okay, so say the graph. If we lose this, you know, 40 cent, 39 cent level here, it is very likely that we come to the point of control. So say we lose this level from current price and we come to the point of control. That would be a 24% loss to 32 cents for the graph. I know anybody holding the graph, especially myself, who has a very, a very large position of the graph. I don't want to see this drop to 32 cents. I want to see it bounce off 40 and continue. But the volume is kind of telling another story. Also, if you look at the curvature of the money flow on the market, say for B, uh, the saving grace here is the oscillator printing a green dot and popping back up. So obviously have an alarm set on the 40 cent level. And uh, if we lose that level, it's probably going to be a trip down to the you know 30, 30, 32 cents. So that I like get excited thinking about it going down to 32. Uh, I don't, I, it, I get excited thinking about going down to 32, but I will certainly sell at probably 40, 39, and then buy back in at 32. I mean, my average buy price is 15 cents. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Style. All right. So I wrote down all of these comments that you guys are making on these different coins. Yeah, I I'm not going to have time to yeah, go to all of them. It's not going to cover them today, but I have them written down. So maybe we'll do a little research on them and circle back tomorrow or the beginning of next week. Yeah, I also know. So I just did the graph. You said I will. Yes, on SUI. I, exactly. That's okay, literally okay, what I'm typing. Sorry. <laughs> so let's do SUI. Then we'll rate some portfolios and we will call it a day. Just before we do that, there are 274 people in the house right now. Sometimes I think to myself, 274. I feel like I could get, you know, so much better numbers. But then I think to myself, if there's 274 people in this room right now. I would be freaking out. Room. Yeah, they couldn't fit in this room. Exactly. So I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you smash the like button down below if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Super, I would really, really appreciate it. And also, if you want the extra alpha like I just did on the graph chart, make sure you head over to my alpha group at Femex Pulse. Everything goes on Femex Pulse until the Telegram, but it will still be on Femex Pulse once I get Telegram. But Telegram will be the sleeper of all sleepers. And Moto Bull, you're all good. You're all good. We, I wrote it down. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, you're good. I, I'll check it out, Moto Bull. I know you're from the Johnny Hopper crew. I, I I got love for you. All right, so SUI. So SUI, very interesting. Remember when I, I bought $100 a, a month ago in like all those coins? SUI was the only coin of those 11 coins, including Bitcoin, that finished below, that finished in a negative. And in the past 29 days, SUI has fallen 22% despite Solana going to about 165, despite the meme coins waking back up, you know, despite all the recent price action, SUI has sadly dropped back down uh, to, a, you know, 154. I do want you to notice the support resistance levels right here, this one right here, and this one right here. It is in a range right now. It is in a range, all right? That's the first thing with SUI. The second thing with SUI is that it is also in a downtrend. It has broken that downtrend. Let me let me uh, extend this line. Yeah, SUI did drop because of awful tokenomics. You're right on the money about that. You're right on the money about that. But I also think that it, it's still a chart and it can still wake up, especially if it can get back above this. So what we need to see, there's a couple things here. A couple things. One is that despite the couple wicks below the support resistance, it has still held the support resistance at $1.45. It has done a very good job of, you know, holding this level despite the handful of wicks. So now we'd really like to see 
it not only bounce off this, but bounce off this and break out of that. All right. That is the hope. So if you are trading SUI at home, what I want you to do, I want you to draw this downtrend on a two hour chart. And I also want you to draw these two blue support resistance lines. Alarm up. All right. Be notified if this is one you really, really want to follow. I also kind of want to just take a quick peek at the daily. I like to zoom out before I zoom in. Uh, we got a 12 negative three on the dual band strength index. Not the best dual band strength index. The uh, point of control is actually right around the current price. Uh, there is, oh, excuse me. The point of control is actually all the way down there, but that's the visible range. So let me get into just 2024. Yeah, the point of control is still pretty far. Oh, here we go. There we go. It popped. So, you know, there is a lot of volume around 83 cents. Uh, also with SUI, like if we lo say we lost this blue level here, say we lost this one, it wouldn't be pretty. Uh, you'd probably be looking for a fall to like a dollar five. But even then, that's kind of outside the, the good volume. You'd probably be looking really to like 87. That's, right? a, painful. that's a painful drop. I mean, let's see how far that drop would be. Uh, so we were looking at a 6% drop to the support resistance line, the first blue line, another 32% drop to a dollar four and a 44% drop to 86 cents. We do not want to see that. Also, you know, kind of curvature of the money flow working its way down. I, I do like on the daily chart that the, at least the oscillator is, you know, kind of coming back around. It, it could pop its way back up. You know, just because it's bad right now doesn't mean it can't turn around in 12 hours. It's crypto. Things happen fast, which is why we stay glued. But the 12 hour chart kind of really tells the story. Uh, it, it, I would say, you know, 16 negative five on the dual band strength index. Uh, definitely check out that indicator on market site if you don't have it. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a test of this level at $1.45. That would be a 5% drop uh, with a red dot, you know, coming down on market site for you. I, I would be looking for maybe a, a temporary short to $1.45 minimum to retest this line, maybe come down to here and then maybe fight to get above this. But for now, I would say we're probably going to lose this level. But what I would do, like I said, draw these trend lines, alarm here. You don't really need to alarm this one, but alarm there and certainly alarm the support resistance level at a dollar. It's at exactly one four one dot four four eight eight. Okay. So yeah, SUI, I, I'm looking temporarily. I'm looking for a short. All right. So shout out to my my in the chat. Love you. <laughs> oh <laughs> also, man. Tristan Gage. All right. Tristan Gage, $20 super chat. Appreciate you. AJ 275 may seem low, but remember how many of us work nine to five jobs and watch you at work. We believe in you so much to quit our nine to five jobs. We appreciate every morning and watch a way to change our futures. Hey man, I really, really appreciate that super chat, Kristen Gates. And I, and I feel you, bro. Um, man, you know, it wasn't that long ago, uh, before I got my job at BitBoy crypto, where I also worked a job and had my one ear pod AirPod in my ear, listening to nothing but crypto content. You know, I, I have been there. I know exactly what it's like. And I really think that this, this, what you just said in that super chat is why I made this channel. That is really why I made this channel. I want everyone in here, all basically 300 people watching the show. If you are working a 95 job and you want to break out of the matrix, I can show you how, but you still have to meet me in the middle. You have to, you have to want to change. You have to be willing to change your habits and willing to change your neural pathways and like reprogram your brain. You need to reprogram your brain to succeed. It, it is not easy. It is not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. But if you are patient and you listen to the right people and you, you can make a mountain, you can make a mountain out of this. Like you can turn a little into a lot. I've seen people do it. I've done it. Ben has done it. You know, Ben has been in, in the crypto game longer than me. But before Ben got into crypto, yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, what's funny story. I'll tell you a funny story. We were on the book tour. We were on the book tour. We were in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. One of my, my hometown, by the way, we love, Philly. we love Philly. And we were in a hotel and we were in the elevator and the elevator door closed. And Ben looked at me real serious. Look, very rare, serious look from Ben Armstrong. He said, AJ, it's been four years since I've been in Philadelphia. I said, four years. I mean, that's pretty specific pretty specific. I was like, what happened four years ago? And he said, well, four years ago, I, uh, was, I, I flew to Philly for a crypto conference because I just started making content. 
And and while everyone else, um, you know, had money to stay at a hotel, I spent, you know, the last little couple dollars I had to get an Airbnb. And I had to like close a curtain. I had this little corner of this room and I had to close the curtain so the person that owned the house could like cook their meals and I couldn't sleep because they were loud. They stayed up late and stuff like that. And I just remember thinking to myself, like Ben, you know, kind of like tells me this like story that was just, you know, what, well, you know, at this point, five years ago, but at the time, four years ago. And he couldn't even afford a hotel at the conference. And now, you know, he's, he's BitBoy Crypto. Um, and that, hit me like a ton of bricks because you know even some of the most successful people i know that have literally made millions and millions and millions of dollars all you know we were all just you know we started from the bottom each and every one of us so you know i implore you i implore you that if you know if you hate your job if you don't if you want a seismic shift in your life one day at a time systematically Break it into a goal and then break that goal into a time frame and then break that time frame into weeks and break those weeks into days and systematically plan every minute of every day on how you're going to study, what you're going to learn, who you're going to listen to, what you're going to read, what you're going to write. Are you going to create? Are you going to be a content creator? Are you going to be a trader? Are you going to be a yield farmer? Are you going to flip NFTs? Whatever it is, however, whatever edge you have. You have to have an edge. The problem with crypto is that it's a very broad space. It's a very broad space. When someone says, oh, I'm in crypto, I say, all right, what do you mean? Because you could be a content creator. You could be a trader. You could flip NFTs. You could be a yield farmer. You, you, you could do all of these things. There's so many things that you can do in crypto. And you need all you need is to have an edge in one thing. What You need to be really good at one thing. Beyond that, it's just to have a vision. Like yep. the biggest thing, I'm such a visionary person that like talking about it isn't enough for me. Like when you're working on goals and things that you want to work towards, go a step further. And like literally AJ and I have sticky notes all yep. over our apartment. Okay. Yep. Like I'm not exaggerating. Every time I leave on a trip, like I put sticky notes everywhere and there'll be something cute like, oh, I love you. But it'll also be like, you're going to kill it. Like you've got this, like you're going to be a millionaire. Yep. And something further than that is like, draw it right out what it is that you want. Like thinking about it isn't enough. When you put thought to pen and paper, yep. there's something that happens there. And that's just the beginning step. And I mean, we can talk about neuroscience all day, yep. but seriously, I think AJ and I really, we've talked about how can we incorporate ways, you know, we can talk about charts, really AJ can talk about charts all day, but if you're not applying it in, in a, uh, progressive way, right. you know, you can have the information and not do anything exactly. with it. Exactly. You know? So I I'm super big on that. AJ and I read affirmations every morning. Um, yeah. we actually want to incorporate something like that for you guys, Yeah. but maybe we'll just show you how yeah. to do it. So first. I, I think <laughs> don't, that don't just give it away. Yet. Yeah. I think that maybe we should make it a post instead of on the live stream, I, or do you want to do it on the live stream? All right. I'll get, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, if you, if you want charts, I did charts earlier in the show. I checked out the graph and, and SUI. I still have to get the couple portfolios. Also, if you want charts, make sure you join the Femex Pulse Group. I will be posting there all day, every day. I will be in there a lot of the time. Um, today, I'm very busy, but I will still make an effort to post in there today. I will I will be posting minimum of three charts a day in Femex Pulse. Love that, Karen. Also, I do love that, She's Karen. So, so uh, as you guys know, I am writing a book. But Jada and I are also constructing a book in our brains, which is the second book. And the second book is no other than a daily crypto affirmations. We have this crypto book. Money affirmations. Crypto. So do you want to introduce this book? Okay. Well, <laughs> I suppose. We have to wrap it up though. We have five yeah, yeah, minutes. I'll be quick. All right. So long story short, my mom, shout out Miss Taryn. Um, she sent me this book a couple years ago and it is a, a money blessings book. So some of them like it's, it's a daily affirmation. So it says the affirmation, it has a little thing and then it has like the part that you affirm and some of it can feel a little floofy. It's a little floofy. It doesn't matter though. Okay. The whole purpose is what the words mean and what you speak like out loud matters and consciousness and energy creates reality. So we have this, you know, been with me for weeks. we have this book. 
called Money Blessings. Which, shout out to Cicely Bland. Shout out to Cicely if Bland. You guys, if you guys want to check it out, you should. I mean, they use some references. Um, God is a very broad term used in this book. Um, it can be whatever God is to you, but it's just to put something larger than yourself Anyways, Hold on, I'm gonna find which, a good one. which one? Find one. It's just gonna read one for you guys. I started. You're gonna read it. You I, read them okay, every okay, okay. I started having AJ do this though, and it works. It does work. AJ at first was like, "Oh my god, this is BS." Yeah, you guys know me. I'm like super skater. I'm super blunt. I'm like Jada. This is this is whack. I'm not I'm doing a, this. I'm a but but I I want you guys to know that you really need to believe these words. And like when we do the affirm. Like repeat after me when we get to the affirm part. Repeat after Jada. She she reads them better than me. After this, we're gonna do a couple quick portfolio ratings. We're gonna peace out. But this one is called "Every Day Is My Payday." All I think, right. I think what we're gonna do is go. no 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 I know. All I'm gonna say is I think moving forward on the days maybe that I come on the live stream, we'll start it off with start with the money affirmation. Money affirmation. I, but I think once we write our own affirmation, we're gonna write 365 of them yeah. for crypto. For yeah. crypto people. Yeah, because this one doesn't go as far. Okay. Anyways, for this one says, every day is my payday. Every day is my payday. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Today's modern workforce has many people living from what they believe is one payday to the next. They learn to budget based on when they expect to get paid. Let's begin to shift our focus. Expect every day to be your payday. God's wealth is unlimited and ever present. You do not have to wait for it on a weekly or biweekly basis. See yourself as God's employee and expect to get paid by the universe on a daily basis. I'm here for that. And here's the affirmation part. Affirm. Every day is my payday. Every day. Every single one of you is saying this. Right Start now. over. Get floofy with Start it. over. Every day is my payday. Every day is my payday. Are you really going to repeat that? Yes. Okay. okay. I, <laughs> I am one with the wealth of the universe, and the wealth of the universe is one with me. I am one with the wealth of the universe, and the wealth of the universe is one with me. Therefore, I expect to receive money and abundant resources on a daily basis. Therefore, I expect to receive money and abundant resources on a daily basis. Each day, I prosper in multiple ways. Each day, I prosper in multiple ways. Every day is my payday. Every day is my payday. There we go. Every day is your payday, everybody. And that stuff, seriously, when we started doing that book, I was just plugging away at Hit Network, typing all the words for everyone else to read, not working on myself, not doing anything. And now here we are. Here we, here we are, everybody. It worked. It yeah, worked. Believe in yourself. Portfolio. Believe in yourself. Anything is possible. All right. I'm going to run these. I got, um, yeah. I got here. I'm just going to read John. All right. John Reggie, you're going first. You're going first. Um, you can say cringe all you want. It worked for me. It worked for me and it works for people. Positive affirmations is the opposite of toxic on the internet. Pretty Maybe sure I'm winning. If your self-talk is super negative. Yeah. If you're going to be negative and your self-talk is negative and you're projecting negativity into the world, your contribution to society versus the contribution of society of people who are positive and working on themselves and affirming their beliefs cringe i don't care do you know what i mean i i uh that that that's very no yeah law of attraction all day law, consciousness and energy creates reality all right john or g you go first you go first all right um all right 52k portfolio someone's been reading their affirmations uh 21 in the graph 19 algo 16 h bar 12 xrp 11 quant 10 link 5 pal 3 layer ai 3 python Wow, uh, gold to three hundred fifty. So you know, not even looking for, not even looking for um, a ten x man. And I uh, think that's very humble of you. Uh, this is a great portfolio. It's very similar to my portfolio. I, know, I was about to say, like, this is a this portfolio. Is, this I is would this is very similar to my portfolio. Very similar. Uh, leading the graph, algo, h bar, xrp, quant, link, pal, and you still and you have a dude. This is a 94. 94. And I say ninety four because of this portfolios are less about how much AJ likes the coins and more about the likelihood of you achieving your goal. And you're only looking for 350 K from 50 K right now. You're not trying to go to 500,000. You're not trying the 10 X you're only 50 K. And even if you were trying to 10 X, I still would have given you a high score. But the fact you're only going for 350,000 with that portfolio, my guy, you don't even need to read money affirmations. 
You don't even need to read money affirmations. You're going to succeed. You know, just this, you can just be negative and say everything's cringe. No. All right. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll be good. So yeah. Just, you, you can be negative and still make it. Did um, you screenshot that tiny little one. Uh, hold on. I, I'm, oh, shit. I, um, hold I did on. if you didn't. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I got to pull these other ones into, uh, oh, no. I just. I just accidentally copied and pasted 66 photos onto my. Nice. Damn it. AJ's home screen's looking. Yeah, my home screen's looking a little busy. Um, where is this one? Why isn't it? I, have it? I know, I but I like showing them on the screen. It's. All right, I can do this one first. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Do you want me to just tell you this one? I got it. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. I, I got this. I got this one on the screen right now. Crypto Alex. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. I've learned so much since bear market. 10K, 25, oh, I was looking at the screen. 25% HBAR, 25% LCX, 20% NXRA, 15 quant. Still has some uh, stable coins and 1% Ben coin. Uh, and you, I know your goal is a 10X. So uh, really quick, really quick, I do want to do a little bit of homework on, isn't, isn't LCX an exchange? Um, so it's outside the top 300 at 350 by market cap market cap 192 million very small market cap John or G, we will be at rare evo yeah so we I'll are we there. will be at rare evo 100 percent. i'm also i might be going to nft nyc might be going to consensus there's a couple of them i might be going to um, in a Tony Robbins quote. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, shout out to Tony Robbins in the chat. Uh, I, I need to learn Crypto Alex a little about, about LCX. I'm not sure about that one. Um, and then NXRA. NXRA. Uh, oh, Alliance Block. Okay. I have heard of that, but it's outside the top four. So, so Crypto Alex, you know, I must say that, you know, LCX is uh you know outside the top 300 nxra outside the top 400 you have h bar and quant stable coins and ben coin um you know i i feel like i cannot properly properly score this portfolio because i don't know enough about lcx and nxra considering they're both outside the 300 but i will say that crypto alex you are giving yourself room to run if these projects you know, have such a little market cap. If they even catch up a little bit, I mean, you're easily going to achieve your goal. You know, I, mean, I will say that you have looking, you're looking for a 10 X. You have aligned your goals with your coin selection. I will give you that. So um, I think you get, a, I think you're getting an 82 off balls alone. Uh, and I also don't hate 25% of H bar. That's a lot of H bar, but with that portfolio, it is quite, it is hard to, uh, hard to go. Yeah. You, know, you get my point. Uh, I think you're going to be just fine, my friend. Um, okay, so here's this other one. I mean, I don't know why, but this one, this one will not drag in the thing. All right, I'm just going to read it because it's not it's not working. I can't drag it into my photo okay. for some reason. It's being, um, all right. So yay, I just five dollars super chat. Thanks for the super chat. Oh. Uh, Okay, it's because it's errors because I accidentally pulled so many photos that my home screen's freaking out. Uh, 10k currently at 10k, 16 Ethereum, 15 Render, Link, Uni, Avax, IMX, Matic, AJX, Floki, Ave, OP, PYR, 8x, ROI, question mark. Oh, uh, yeah, Jada, <laughs> that is clearly my girlfriend right there. That is clearly my girl. Uh, well, you do have to ask yourself. You're looking for an 8x from right here, right now. Can Ethereum 8x? That that's the question. So, um, so let's look at this. Okay, so Ethereum, Ethereum. So I mean, for Ethereum to 10x, you'd be looking at uh, you know a 4.6 trillion. For Ethereum to 5x, you'd be looking at 2.3 trillion. Ethereum is not going to 5x. Ethereum is not going to 20,000 this bull run. It's not happening. Okay. Can it go there eventually? Hell yeah. Will it go there eventually? Hell yeah. Is it going there this bull run? Probably not. 
I would be there. Actually, I'm not going to tell you I would be very blank because I'm doing an Ethereum price prediction and I don't want to play my whole hand here. But um, so, yeah, I just your 16 percent of Ethereum that that is going to hold the rest of your portfolio back. You need the other 84 percent of your portfolio to overperform to get you an 8x render can render 8x. Yes. Link. Yes. 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 Uni. <laughs> yes. Avax. Yes. IMX. Yes. Matic. Probably. AGIX basically already has Floki Ave. You get my point. Basically, every coin in your portfolio is probable to 8x besides Ethereum. And that's your largest holding. So I don't mind your coin selection. I don't mind your distribution, but I don't like what you're leading with and you have too much of it. Um, so that is going to hold you back. The probability of you 8xing is oh meh. I'm gonna have to give you, I'm gonna have to give you a 72. I thought you were going to go 75. Yeah, I'm going to give you a 72. Uh, and that's not a strong degree of certainty. For, is there another portfolio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I right. still, you know, other than that, yeah, yeah, I just, you do have a good bag. You do have a solid bag, but that Ethereum's holding you back. Okay. This one is super simple. Shout out to Gary for the $2. We got 98% in Jasmine and 2% in HBAR. In Jasmine, in we Jasmine trust. We trust. Uh, you know, I don't know what your goal is, Gary, but I'm sure you're going to achieve it. Uh, I love it. And I have actually, Gary, you've probably been making some pretty good money. You probably did pretty good. On, so uh, in Jasmine, we trust. Good job, bro. Good job. I, I don't hate that bag, actually, because like, do I, would I do that? Absolutely not. Are you, uh, are you doing well? Yes. You're making plenty of money. Uh, we made it through everything. Today. Yeah, we got to no, sign I off. I was just in the P7 with my awesome. So with that being said, there are about 300 people in here. I, I love each and every one of you. Positive affirmations, everybody. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, no, no one else will. To. Yeah, you you have to have complete self-belief. Live with complete abandon. You only get one shot. You only get one. So you could be negative. You could be a jerk on the internet. Or or you could believe in yourself and you can build something worth fighting for. And just try it out. Yeah, See what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Seriously. What, you know, have fun with it. Chase your dreams. My name's AJ Rice Crypto. I'm Glitter Cream Crypto Barbie. I don't know. <laughs> have a good rest of your day. Love get you guys. Get, get rich or get wrecked. Hopefully Keep it snazzy. I'll see you over at Femex Pulse. And I do have a chart picked out that I didn't show you today, but I you have to watch. You have to watch the Ben Armstrong. Oh, I can't say that anymore. Oh, it's. I'll see you over at Bitboy Crypto. Peace.